school there for about I'm not even no the six. Exactly. For a while. Yeah. For a while, like 15, 15 plus years. Um, so uh, be aware that when you get to the jigsaw mat, you're kind of close to the glass, so let's make sure we stay away from the glass. And it's uh Christian show. Well, thanks guys for coming. never had someone bring me out, so it's kind of cool, right? Um, so I'm going to do my best to make sure I don't mess this up. Um, Rick tells me that you guys are here mostly, you want the passing, you want the fundamentals, you want stuff that's going to help you, you know, jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu. Are we all on the same page with that? Because we can, you know, I teach the fundamentals, right? And I've had a lot of different coaches. I've had Brazilian coach, American coaches, really good guys. You know, I'm, I'm not a name dropper, but really like high level guys throughout my career. And I've taken a bunch of what really worked for me, made it a framework. And in terms of fundamentals, it's not, it's not what's basic, it's what's most important, right? And that's made a difference for me from, from blue belt and purple, even as a black belt. Like as a black belt now, you know, there's that saying, I think I've been a black belt three, four, four, four years now. Um, they say like you've learned i've learned and i have so cliche i never thought i'd be one of these guys uh, i've learned more as a black belt than i learned in all my time coming up to black belt if that makes sense so the black belt is like in my opinion it's like your your graduate degree or maybe your bachelor's degree now you're ready now, now you're ready to kind of delve into this okay just like you would never tell some kid who wants to be a grown-up he's like just chill guys you're not you're nice to young kid around just relax. Don't you don't want this just yet? It's like when you get to a certain point, I feel almost like purple is that point where, at least when I came up, the way I see it, where you are now, you are now an adult. You're 18 and over. If it happens, it's on you. You know, it's now it's your job. Like my the way I look at my job is when I bring up my guys, I brought up my guys and gals, is once they get to purple, they should have all they need to know. Now you go out for on your own. It doesn't mean I abandon them now. What, the way it was relayed to me and the way I, I, I like this and enjoy it and makes it an art is that once you're purple, now it's up, up to you to teach yourself in one way or another. Now that's what makes jujitsu an art, it makes it personalized. So the best way to do that is to focus on the fundamentals. Fundamentals in every position, in every scenario, because those are the things that don't change. It's just a matter of you kind of honing in on Right, I boxed when I was a kid. I could throw, dad, throw, so you know we could probably run through the repertoire of boxing. But I bet even at, at even at this stage, Delahoya's jab looks better than my jab. You know, and that's not because he knows something about the jab. It's about he, he does. He knows something about how to use it. Right, none of this happens in a vacuum. So that's what, what I kind of want to um, show you guys because it's sometimes it's all these little things. I'll pull pull aside and I'll go, come here. Two, two minutes worth of something like, look, we just. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That made a whole difference. Little things like that, I think. I don't want to say cheat sheet, but like, you know, you guys still do cliff notes, that sort of thing. You kind of like the cliff notes, right? And then it's your job to go back and read those books and fill it in, you know? And that's part of the fun part, that's the journey. What I want to focus on right now to start off is passing. Um, I think passing, the open guard in general, I think that's what makes you jiu-jitsu unique. You know, there's grappling, grappling arts, wrestling, sambo, judo, it all works. What makes jiu-jitsu different than that, in my opinion, is the guard work, the sophistication of the guard work, the open guard, takes and grace, quote, heart and soul of, of jiu-jitsu. And passing is probably the most individualized thing you'll ever do, right? If, if Rick put on some crazy, some crazy outfit, put on a mask, and he rolled with me, I would know it's Rick. You know what I mean? Like, I could come in in a complete disguise, but I would not be able to hide who I am, not to sound too... Uh, to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there is there is a way you move. There is a way you express yourself. Guard passing is like your personality physically manifested. How do you deal with this obstruction, with this problem, with frustration? How do you handle someone you can walk through? How do you handle someone you can't walk through? No, it's it's really interesting when you delve into it. But that said, I can't teach you guys to pass the way I pass because you're not me, and vice versa. But there are certain things that never change, like physics. You know, right? Physics, gravity, all these things that are constants that, that we want to hone in on when we when we focus on our game and focus on spreading the art. Does that make sense? Is that cool? All right, so let's, um, okay. Yeah.
Take like just a, a minute, and then we'll come in. Uh, what I want to do, if you guys don't mind, just kind of give you little pieces like that, and three or more left, and then you'll have like all the pieces we need to make the drill out of it. And then we can move on from there. We move on to standing, to opening, and eventually passing. I'd like to focus on passing open and half guard. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's try it. Try it. 